I'm here to read you an extra special Christmas story. It's a new one about Anna and I at Christmas. It's called Anna, Elsa, and the Enchanted Holiday. It's a brand new book, so I bet you haven't heard it before. Unless you joined us at the Heritage Lights in LaSalle. Maybe you've already heard it. Let's get into the story and find out what it's about. Snow glistened across the kingdom of Arendelle. The winter holidays had arrived. With them came a very special visitor. I had traveled from the enchanted forest to be with my sister Anna for the ringing of the Yule Bell. Kind of looks like Anna's excited to see me, doesn't it? The two of us didn't see each other as often as we used to. I was the Snow Queen and the protector of the Enchanted Forest. Anna was the Queen of Arendelle and busy with her own duties. It was a long journey between our two homes, and we both had very important jobs. But the ringing of the Yule Bell was one occasion the two of us would always share. The bell's crystal clear chime echoed across the kingdom, signaling the start of the holiday season. Anything could happen at this special time of year. Bong, bong, bong. Let the holidays begin, Anna announced excitedly as she rang the bell. Ooh, I feel holiday cheer vibrating in my snowflakes, exclaimed Olaf. Olaf loves the holidays. Just then, Gale, the wind spirit, swirled around me. I think Gail is curious about the bell. I smiled. The forest spirits have never had a holiday celebration, the way Arendelle does. What? cried Olaf. No festive festivities? No merriment? No fruitcake? Someone should fix that. Olaf is very kind, isn't he? You're right, Olaf, Oneg declared. We should help the spirits host a celebration of their own. Gale swirled up more snowflakes around us. The wind spirits seemed to like that idea. Then if you please, Kristoff said, hop aboard the Sven Holiday Sleigh. I just love dashing through the snow, Olaf cried as we set off on our journey. Looks like there's lots of special items in the sleigh, doesn't it? What would you put in the sleigh to bring to all the spirits in the Enchanted Forest? Oh, I like that one. That's a great idea. I'm going to have to tell Anna for next year. It was a long trip north, but finally the friends arrived. We have a surprise for you, I explained to the forest spirits. We're going to have a holiday celebration right here. And we're going to need everyone's help to make it just right. Anna and I began by making ornaments for the earth giants to hang from an enormous pine tree. Soon, every branch glistened with ice crystal snowflakes and frosted berries. It's beautiful, Kristoff admired the glittering tree, but aren't we forgetting something? Really? asked Anna. I don't think so. It looks perfect. Meanwhile, Sven helped Olaf string garlands of woven pine branches sprinkled with icicles throughout the forest. Bruni, the fire spirit, wanted to help too. The forest glowed as the sun shone off the icicles. It's so twinkly, exclaimed Olaf. 
It is twinkly, isn't it? Just like Christmas lights. Are you sure we aren't forgetting something? Kristoff asked as he helped set out the winter treats. If you're talking about Fleming stew, then yes. I may have forgotten those ingredients on purpose, Anna teased. <laughs> Trust me, you're not missing anything if you don't have Fleming stew. That stew is delicious, and it's a time-honored tradition, Kristoff pouted. But that's not what I mean. I feel like there's something missing. Hmm. What do you think is missing? Hmm. We'll have to turn the page and find out. Maybe you're thinking of Arendelle's Skating Pond, I suggested. It's not the holidays without ice skating. I leapt onto the winter knock and rode to the shoreline near the forest edge. Using my ice magic, I created a spectacular skating rink. I never knew I could triple loop until now, called out Olaf. That is one tradition we always do in Arendelle, ice skating at Christmas. Do you like to ice skate too? Me too. No, it's not the decorations, Kristoff said. It's something else, something important. Hmm. Just have fun, Anna insisted. It's the enchanted forest. First time really ringing in the holidays, after all. Ringing in. Hmm. Kristoff said thoughtfully. Gale whooshed through the air, stirring up some snow flurries and causing them to fall from the sky. Everything is ready, I announced. Let the holiday season begin. Soon the forest echoed with the sounds of laughter. The friends played and sang and enjoyed winter treats all afternoon. As the sun set, Bruni scampered up the enormous tree to light the star at the top. It's perfect, Anna whispered. It is a beautiful tree, isn't it? I bet you all your trees are just as pretty. The holidays will be different now that I live in the forest and look after the spirits, I said. But I'm glad we were able to do this together. It's like having a little bit of home right here. Then let's make it a new tradition, Anna said. Do you think that's a wonderful idea? Me too. In that case, someone said, how about an old tradition to help ring in the new one? Anna and I turned in surprise. There was Kristoff with a U-bell carved out of ice. It's beautiful, Anna gasped. I knew something was missing, Kristoff explained. It's not the start of the holidays without a Yule bell. This might help Arendelle and the Enchanted Forest feel closer than ever. I think that's a wonderful idea. Carefully, the earth giants hung the bell high up. Gail swooped past and it rang loud and clear. Its chime was carried by the wind far beyond the forest. With Gail's help, we can hear both Yule bells Every evening, I said. It will be like we're together all season long, said Anna, giving Kristoff a huge hug. Thank you so much. The next morning, it was time for Anna, Kristoff, and Olaf to begin the long journey home. I waved goodbye at Sven in the holiday sleigh as it disappeared among the trees. It was true the holiday season would be a little different this year. 
But thanks to the chimes of our Yule bells, echoing across the distance each night. It would be just as enchanting as ever. The end. I hope you enjoyed that beautiful new holiday story. And we hope you all have a magical Christmas. Don't forget to stay safe and have fun. Goodbye, everyone. Merry Christmas.